Hey everybody, how's it going? So today's adventure, we're going to be checking out what Juno is particularly known for, and that's this big old glacier called Mendenhall Glacier. So um, we're going to go check it out. We've got to walk all the way over there because there was nowhere to park over there. There it is. There's the glacier coming through the trees. There's the lake. Is it Mendenhall Lake? Is that what it's called? There's not quite any salmon spawning yet, but it's a little early for that. Maybe in about a month. Just like at every national park, there's a museum up there, which we will probably not be checking out because they charge like 30 bucks. This place is called Photo Point because obviously it's where you take photos. So, talking about the water. There's the sand. Is it fine? Can you feel it? Yeah, you can't really feel it. I think I've gone beyond the photo point because I can't really see it anymore, but look at the lake. This is all glacier water. Look how murky it is. It's like a green. There it is. That island is where I'm going to build my house. Right there. See that one right there? Right there, that small one? That's where my house is going to be built. There's some... What are those called? Icebergs? Out there? Oh, out there, yeah. They broke off of the glacier. There's a view of that museum up there. Welcome Center. It's on a rock. Isn't that pretty cool? It's like way up there on the rock. I think we're going to go check out Nugget Falls over here. Yeah, I wish I had my trekking poles. <laughs> Ew. You want a drink? Ew. Sure is a nice day. Romeo, this wolf that used to live out here, that was everybody's favorite wolf. I don't know if he was friendly or not, but they could see him. And the spirit of Gina's there it is. friendly black wolf. The falls are just right around those trees, right around the corner. Look at that. You can already see it's crazy. There it is. Look at how many people are here. They're all from the cruise ship. Wow. It's pretty crazy. The smallest people are next to it over there. Still got a little ways. Look how sparkly the water is. Just a gorgeous day. There's like one cloud in the sky. This is super super rare for Juno. Look at that. How blue that is. 
Hey, don't get too close, guys. They're gonna fall in. Dang, that's really, really loud. Glaciers over there. The lake. And it is like really, it's like shorts weather right now. This is nuts. These kids are a lot braver than I am. Dang, look at that. that is insane. This is probably the biggest one of the waterfalls here in Juneau. like a helicopter fleet flying out to the glacier, a bunch of tourists. Beautiful day to check it out. It's just over there. The spray from the waterfalls feels amazing on a day like today. It's like really, really, really hot for Juno. It feels like about maybe 90 if I was down south. But there's still like some cold air. I just realized I'm standing in the water. <laughs> How cold do you think this water is? We better check. Oh yeah, that's pretty cold. Yeah, it's like ice water. This seagull's like flying around and like going down and getting fish. See that? That's crazy. It's like just right there, looking for the fish. It is a bit interesting seeing how some of these tourists are dressed because they're definitely not from Alaska. Apparently there's like a paid portion of this place and that's over there. So we won't be going over there, but apparently over there you can get a little bit better view of that glacier. This is the best we're gonna do over here. Unless we go over there. Look at these crazy people waiting in that cold water. There's some canoe action out there. Pretty cool. They're getting their exercise and seeing a great view. I actually hiked over there with my friends once. And it was like the craziest hike I've ever taken. I mean, it's gotta be at least like 10 miles at least. This dog is cracking everybody up. Just getting right in that water. Having a good time. He's going even further in. It's probably super hot for a big old black dog like that right now. The water probably feels really good. <laughs> Silly dog. First, we always have the rock slides that we always see everywhere. How high do you think that goes? Maybe, let's see here, maybe about, um, about four inches? Hmm. Does that make any sense? Do you want me to take a picture of the two of you? Oh, sure. Yeah. 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 Some of the local high school kids used to say this was the weed smoking spot. They come out here and smoke weed. And do nothing but smoke weed. Crazy. There's like all that black sand in there. You know what that means? You could probably pan this stuff and find some gold nuggets. At least some flakes. There's a closer view of that iceberg. You want to swim out there? Yeah, me neither. More ice. It's kind of 
of a windy day, so uh, it seems like it's picking up these waves. Um, although, that breeze just feels like a really good AC on a really hot day, so not too bad. Not too bad. wouldn't want to be swimming in that water, but maybe kayaking is okay. They're having a good time out there. Although it is kind of a distance. So, hope they're in shape. Somehow we ended up on a different trail here, and I uh, hope we're not going to get in trouble, but anyway, this is a little bit more treacherous than it was before. Everybody's crossing on these rocks, but this is why you wear grundens so you just walk right through it like this. See, just like that, just like that. See, hey. other side. <laughs> the locals call that peak the boob peak, but I don't really know why. It's a little bird sanctuary right over here. So you can't cross. There's a gate and a bunch of signs saying, do not cross. Do not cross. The trail ends here. There's these forget-me-nots everywhere. It's the state flower. And they're everywhere. Everywhere. Look at how big that glacier is from here. Huge. Hopefully we'll be able to get a better view of it when we go back. Here we go again. Got to make a bigger splash. Made it. Yes, 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 yes. Back to the main trail here. Oh, okay. We just need to not follow the sign and just make a left. Let's go that way. It'd be much better. Although you're walking through the water. wonder what's living in there. Maybe some toads or something. There's the lake. So, so everybody's on the same page here. You do have to pay for certain spots. There's the fee area. I don't know how much the fee is, but I'll find out sometime. I'm gonna check out in here. Usually these doors are closed when I come here because I'm always here on off seasons. So this so is like, this is like hell crazy. Oh, there's just elevators in here. That's it. And a television. Well, definitely worth coming up here. Wow. That. There's the berries getting the salmon. Oh, yeah, there's the salmon in there. It's just maybe it could use a little bit of a cleaning. There it is. The mighty glacier.
I think I see one, but it's so far that it just kind of like that. Wow, look at that model. They have this blue light coming out of this uh, white to make it look like it's uh, the blue of the glacier. Wow, look how close that was. And then it just keeps going back. Just receded and receded. I came here in 2019. 2040. So they have a, a artist That's representation insane. of what it might look like. It's a big old piece of, uh, what's that called? What's that, that rock kind of called? Uh, granite? I thought you had to pay, but I haven't seen anywhere to pay yet. There was like an extra little outside area here that it looks like nobody knows about. There's the glacier in it's all its glory. If you want, you can take the stairs, but I don't recommend it because there's a lot of them. Really cool. Just built right up on the rock. The lady that was I think we're gonna take the ramp down. Another epic shot of the glacier to the left and the falls to the right. Epic. You can see some of those icebergs kind of floating. There's another one down there. Boob Mountain. There's lots and lots of vegetation everywhere. So, vegetable. Vegetable heaven right here. There's where the bus takes you to the cruise ship. If you take that route, of course we drove because we're locals. Oh my gosh, it's a Sitka spruce. You know how I know? There's a sign. Bald eagles, there's two of them right up there. Bald eagles, American bald eagles. Cool. Yeah, lots of fun on that trail. Now I'm back home again, and we're going to take a little bit of a breather. That was kind of a, a bit of a hike. So anyway, we'll talk to you guys soon. Like and subscribe. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.